good news is when we come back to this later, it should all be turned to jungle grass. Alright, so we're done with the platforms. Get the mud back out. Oh, we got plenty of mud. I forgot that I put it on eight. And we'll just have to make sure that all the rows are nice and connected. Look, a life fruit! This thing's already working. Heck yeah! That's propagated. That is propagated. We gotta check all the columns. And get the torches out. We're gonna need more torches. Alright, 99 torches! I got 99 torches! I can't think of something witty to say that would relate to torches. Torches on the bottom. That's where the life fruit's gonna grow. So much for the automatic placer. Oh, you know what? If I was gonna put my own walls in here, I'm gonna need to redo all the torches anyway. So, yeah, there's that question. Do we wanna make our own walls or deal with monsters in here? I guess for right now, I'll just finish what I'm doing. Streamline all the all the connections in here. That's got some there, but it's got a long ways to go from there. Gee whiz, man.
Ah, oh, possessed armor banner. Cool, we can put one of those in here as well. So yeah, I guess we'll do the background walls. This is gonna be tedious, but we won't have monster spawns in here, so that'll be even nicer. Like I said, it's gonna knock out all my torches, so better to do it now before I retorch. All the things we do for projects to get fat loot for everybody. But I have definitely increased the amount of surface area to get chorus fruit. Or not chorus fruit. <laughs> There's a Minecraft terminology for you. Minecraft phrasing. I meant a life fruit, guys. Life fruit. That's what we're looking for in here is life fruit. Good thing is not every one of these rows is covered with freaking green jungle wall, so... Kind of get to go a little faster for those sections. We made a really huge freaking life fruit farm, man. Like when I started this out, I didn't think it was going to be this big. Go figure, right? That's kind of how I rolled, though. 
Go big or go home. Hey, Jennifer. You think you can get me a glass of water sometime? <laughs> or bring me my jug? Yeah, yeah just bring me my jug. I've been kind of thirsty. Are those? Unless the creepers on the wall down there. Haha. -ha. I was like, what the hell? They look weird. Oh cool, more loot. There's bazaar down there. Maybe the time I get done with this project, I'll have enough bazaars for everybody to get their um, subcomponents for the Ox Shield. We didn't exactly stock up on these things before hard mode, so now the only choice is to fight them in hard mode. The Hornets um, and all this other crap that's in here. And then I know what the dimensions are. I think I might move the center area down there. It's not really center. And uh, kind of make a little house in there and put the banners for these enemies in there so we get bonus damage against them. Although I guess if I'm turning all this in the walls, it won't really matter too much. Or maybe I can do like half walls, half monster farm. So there's like a little bit of a compromise between the two if someone wants to come to the jungle and farm stuff. Which that might actually be the best of both worlds, so that might be uh, an option to consider. Alright, we'll have to see what we actually have for materials on us right now. Um, yes, yeah, so let's get our little trough out here. And stack away some things. And we're going to need to make a lot of walls. So I need to get access to a workbench. I'll just put one down here.
There we go. Nice little workbench. And we'll grab the smooth granite walls. I love... We have a statue. We have some granite statues. So they give us granite for days. And it's my favorite building material because it's literally free. You know, you're farming money anyway, so why not just take um, the resources that you're getting, free blocks, and use them. So you'll notice a lot of things I build on here now, since we got statues, is essentially out of the uh, smooth granite walls and smooth granite blocks and smooth granite platforms. <laughs> and thanks to the Architect Gizmo Pack, it really doesn't take long to fill in walls like this. Like this actually goes by pretty damn fast, especially considering what, what the rate of speed is when you're not wearing the Architect Gizmo Pack. Alright, dude, you're gonna need to go because I'm going down on that later next. I can't have you. I can't have you on my later. So yeah, we've, we've almost used a thousand walls just on this little bit that we've done so far. It does not take long to go through a bunch of walls. Now the good thing is, is that each uh, block gives me four walls, so the ratio is pretty nice. Okay, see, we just ran out, so we're going to go make some more. So yeah, we're going to be out of materials after uh, the next time we go to the workbench. So we can at least get like another two rows. I hope. Almost kind of looks like I'm designing a bait farm, but I already have one of those. This is not a bait farm. So the question is, can I semi-automate the gathering of life fruit using actuators? That'll be a good, a good question. Have to test next time I see a life fruit grow in here. Throw some actuators and a switch down and see what happens. Welcome back, Tag Gold. That's right, kill that guy before he gets to me. Hey, Tack, you're at the base, right? You should grab, like, a bunch of smooth granite blocks. And, uh, be prepared to do some grunt work. <laughs> Gonna turn half of this into a peaceful area, another half can be mom spawn. So that way, if you're farming stuff, you can still farm stuff. Oh, that was it. That was the last of those bits of walls. Get my yo-yo down there. Yeah, you can put those in the inactive, uh, in the traps box. That's cool. Totally digging this new yo-yo. Big difference getting an extra 20 damage on a yo-yo. Still takes a little while to kill stuff, but not as long. Okay, we need to make more walls. Oh gosh, get away from me, guy. I'm just trying to make some walls. Leave me alone. Alright, we can probably put... Uh, oh, I got a campfire. I'm just chilling with my inventory. Okay. Uh, let's put that iron ore down here. Don't necessarily need a bunch of mud blocks anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna have bazaars for everybody here at this rate. Alright. La 
last batch of walls we can make until we run back and get more. We should be able to get another road done, I think. Then we can torch this all up. Three what? Bazaars? Well, good, because I got like three or four more in my inventory, so that'll be enough for everybody. Alright, we just ran out. So, yeah. Um, where the hell's the middle of this damn thing? Probably like right down in here. Let's get this on the screen a little better so I can take a look. So, yeah, it would have to be like right in. Right in here. There's a beehive and a banner. Oh, so I got kind of close to the center with that particular house that was there. I guess we can just kind of keep that. I uh, did not do the quest fishing for the day. Alright, let's go back here and sort our inventory out a little bit more. We'll leave a uh, campfire behind. We'll move that later. Same thing with this uh, possessed armor banner and a hornet banner. Definitely want to save that. Might actually want two hornet banners at this rate. In fact, all of these can just stay here in the jungle because there's this is where hornets are. <laughs> Okay, cool. Alright, let's run back to the base before the, I heard the worm. Alright. Might as well just fish up a bunch, Tack. Just fill, grab like three extras. What is it? Um, Fallen starfish? Oh, that's not so bad. You could just use the teleporter, dude. What are you running up there for? Just hit the switch and you'll be up, you'll be at the top. And you can just fall into the lake. Or you can go up the rope, however you want to do. But yeah, there's a teleport to actually right to the top of the sky bridge above the house. Alright, let's auto sort our stuff. There we go. And then we're gonna go grab some more. Actually, what I should do. I keep making torches throughout to my time in the game, right? And then I forget to lock them down in my inventory, so they keep ending up in the damn lights box. So I have stacks and stacks of torches in here now. Which is great, you know, that's no problem. Um, but yeah, we're gonna use some of those instead of making some more from scratch when we already got them. Gotta use up some of our supplies, like a lot of the smooth granite. So we'll grab like four stacks of smooth granite. Let's go ahead and make some walls. Go ahead and make a stack of walls here real quick. Oh yeah, dude, you always get that so much. So many bass. Alright, um, walls. Why is my crafting being wonky? Not close enough to the crafting bench. Here we go. Alright, there's one stack of walls. This way we can just plug in and go. Two stacks of walls. Let's get one more stack of walls. Maybe I don't need this much smooth brand. I think we'll put one stack back so we'll still have this one and yeah it's more than enough I think because we're getting everything we need off the bees um, I don't really see us needing a whole lot of other things from whatever's left so maybe I will just go ahead and um, make that all peaceful Right down in here we go. Woo! Quickest access to what we got going on here in the jungle. Let's go ahead and start using some torches. Get some light in here. Look here, you angry guy. Get out of here.
Apparently we missed a few walls right there. How'd that happen? Like, automatic mode should be making this, like, easy-peasy, not having any misses. Alright, anyway. More torches. Can't have enough torches. There's a little thing that disappears and reappears randomly around you. I think my little pirate dude poops. Oh! That could be a thing! You know, everyone poops. Everybody poops. All right, and then we get to where we have no walls. Easy fix. Ooh. Gotta watch those wyverns. Stay sneaky. Just like that bee that got me. Yeah, wyverns are a thing. I believe in you, Tank Gold. I know you can take out those wyverns as you fish. You the man. Rocking and rolling through all of these damn walls. Good thing I made a bunch before I came here. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, we gotta clear out the stuff that's here. No, don't do the ones on the top. Oh my goodness. Sometimes the automatic smart cursor is not your friend. Yep, it's confirmed your pirate does poop. <laughs> Alright, screw it. We're just going to redo that top level up there. you annoy me with your notifications hey what's up so I checked it out it looks like it's most of this has been propagated I'm just gonna check it out here and uh, I did throw in a recording so we'll uh, put this in the finished product video or whatever that gets uploaded to YouTube so what we're trying to see here is um, how well did our life group farm actually do and as you can see we're gonna find out here real quick 
Um, I do have an empty spot in my hotbar at the top to hopefully track how many we get. That would probably just be through this real quick for the sake of the video. I think it'll break with yo-yo since it does break with a sword. But I'm going to have to break all these with a pickaxe or a drill. All the freaking... Oh, there's one. I got two rows before we got one. Those are places to help that mud be grass. Okay, so we got five and one pass through. Not too shabby. I mean, it beats running around the jungle. And um, this, we'll have to wait and see how it does again. So I'm kind of curious, but um, yeah, I won't bore you. I'll go ahead and uh, go back off camera and hopefully get another, snap another snapshot of these when they're all done. Cheers.